Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be making a cherry blossom out of polymer clay. So first, I'm starting by making the base of the cherry blossom. If you look at reference pictures of cherry blossoms, you'll notice that the base, kind of where the bud first emerged and bloomed, tend to be a darker pink and seems to be holding all the petals together. I need the petals relatively thin in a long oval shape and I'm starting to add texture with some needle tools. I need the petals by making a center thicker while the edges remain relatively thin, kind of like a pancake shape, a dome pancake shape is how I would describe it because then with the edges being thin, it's more easy to manipulate it folding inwards and outwards like a natural petal would. Now for the assembling of the petals, I've changed the angle of the camera because I felt that this is a lot easier to see what I was doing. So what I'm doing is that I'm using two silicone tools which I've made from silicone putty in order to curve the shape and place it according to how I see the reference picture. What I notice is that the petals tend to be pinched towards the center and because of the way I took the picture, the wind was blowing the cherry blossoms. Therefore, a lot of the petals were blowing inwards. With a lot of flower petals, they tend to fold inwards because I believe that is the way they bloom and also because of overlapping with the other petals. Therefore, I feel that this is um, a way of making the flowers look a lot more natural rather than have it be stiff and sticking out. This is also why I'm starting to assemble the petals on this silicone dome shape because I feel it gives me the nice little fold outwards rather than having the petals sticking straight. And it's less likely to break as well this way. So this is how my cherry blossom looks like after the assembling. Before baking, I'm starting to add a little bit of pollux pigment towards the inner center of the flower. Cherry blossoms are very pale in color in general. However, I feel like by adding a little bit of color to the center, it helps with giving more depth towards the flower and allows me to later manipulate the shadows a little bit more after baking them. Of course, this is completely optional. You can always just add the colors after baking the flower. And this is what I did as well to add some additional depth. I mixed a little bit of pollux pigment with acrylic paint and brushed it up upon the center of the flower. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope it has been helpful. And if it was, do leave me a like so that I know and subscribe for more. Bye guys, I'll see you in my next video.